Hello, good crowd. We are so fortunate to be here today at, Ro at Rotary International Headquarters with the President-elect Holger Knack. He is from Germany, a remarkable, important human being who's a great humanitarian. Stick around, you don't want to miss this episode. Welcome to the Your Mark on the World show with your champion of social good, Devin D. Thorpe. Our sponsor, Johnson & Johnson, matches most individual donations up to $250 at caringcrowd.org. Holger, welcome to the show. Yes, I'm, well, I'm happy to be here. Well, we're thrilled to have you. Thank you for making some time out of your busy schedule today. I know you're packed with meetings. You're just now beginning your year of duty as president-elect, and this work must feel very overwhelming. How do you feel? It is, you know, I stepped quite late in, as you know. That's right. And uh, I start thinking, is it you? They are talking about you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are talking about the president-elect of Virgin International. Yes, but then the, your, it, your predecessor passed away suddenly after being is, chosen. He didn't pass away. He, was, he is, is still quite ill. He's not able to speak, and that was the main reason why he's not uh, stepping back and not, he was not able to, to uh, fulfill all his duties. Yes. Yeah, that's horrible. Uh, but we're glad that you're here and able to do this. You are, as I mentioned in the introduction, you are from Germany. Rotary is truly an international organization. My audience is somewhat international, but dominated mm. here in the United States. I wonder if you would just help us understand the European perspective of Rotary uh, as an international organization. By the way, that's some of the beauties of Rotary. When, when you travel over the world, Rotary is always different. It's, it's different in Europe, it's different in India, and of course in the United States. And, uh, but how to, first, uh, how to say that? In <laughs> Germany we are, yes, it's still, we are very proud of, it's still an honor to be asked to be a Rotarian. Yeah. And we are growing in Germany. We yeah. don't have any, any uh, membership problem. Yes, we have some. We come probably later to this yeah. to this point, but we are. Uh, it's still an honor, as I said, and uh, the Rotary clubs are selecting their, their Rotary club members carefully. Interesting. And that's the reason why we don't have any retention pro problem in Germany. Yeah. So one of my sayings is, you know, you are leaving a Rotary club in Germany, feet first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That is an interesting difference uh, here in the United States. Some clubs struggle to recruit members, uh, and so that is very different. Um, as you've had opportunities to travel around the world, you said that's one of the beauties of Rotary is the, the connections that it brings. Tell us a little bit about your ex international experiences with Rotary. My, my journey in Rotary starts with the youth exchange. Very early when yeah. I was club member, so we hosted some exchange students and then I stepped into this program. And I grew up in Rotary with youth exchange. And <clears throat> as a result of that, uh, I think I'm sitting here. <laughs> and uh, so Susan, my wife and I, we love to host students. We don't have any uh, children by our own. And so sometimes I'm saying, okay, we order simply some from ro a Rotary. <laughs> and sometimes it's not too bad giving them back after four months. <laughs> but we're having a lot of fun with them. They keep us yeah. young. All over all, we had 43 youth exchange students in our home. Wow. Most of them just in short term, uh, and, but I think 11, 12 in long term for about four months. Yeah. And the last one was last year. Yes, a, a young lady from, from Michigan. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. That's great. That's great. Um, Rotary's signature project and effort is polio eradication. Uh, we've talked with a lot of Rotarians today and yesterday, and we will again tomorrow uh, with the leadership about polio eradication. Um, how do you feel about that global effort and the role you play in it? So you have, it starts at 30 years ago, and I think all Rotarians can be proud of that it starts because Rotary has an idea, or had an idea. 
and, uh, uh, and then many other organizations stepped in, what is necessary because that's such a huge thing. Mm -hmm. Think of what we had uh, 30 yeah. years ago, I think we had f more than 340,000 cases in the world, and right now about 60, 70. It's going up this year, unfortunately, but we can talk yeah. about that later. Yeah. But uh, I think we shouldn't be afraid starting a huge thing, because if we are able to attract many members, other large organizations, the governments of this world, nearly everything is possible. Yeah. And that's, I think, Proterians can be proud of. Yeah, eradicating ro polio certainly seemed to a lot of people to be impossible. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, and yet, was, yeah. uh, we're on the cusp, right? Yeah. When I was two years, in, two years ago in India, I saw a lot of polio victims there. But none of them, none of them were below 30, yeah. 25. So that means no children, just a few. Yeah, very are, are affected in India right now. This yeah. is if you see that people are crawling on the ground and say, hey, there are no children. Yeah. Because of some Rotarians had the idea to, to start this, this unbelievable journey with, yeah. with uh, yeah. polio. When you joined Rotary in 1992, uh, what attracted you to Rotary? Before I became <clears throat> Rotarian, I was for 10 years um, <clears throat> joining an organization called Roundtable, what is quite popular in all over Europe. The amazing thing is, this was found by Rotarians in oh, England really? in 1927. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. And these Rotarians, they were tired just to sit among old other guys. And they created a new club model from about 25 to 40. You have to leave with 40, this, this, uh, this organization similar values than we have service projects yeah. but just with younger people and so for me uh, it was cl quite clear to follow with another organization after I become 40 yeah. and I was quite happy uh, that I was asked by Rotary to join to join Rotary. What do you think uh, is the difference in Germany with Rotary that people want to join and uh, Rotary clubs have the pleasure to screen people thoughtfully uh, versus in the United States where most clubs find themselves recruiting members. Uh, what's the difference? Is it just cultural or is there something Rotary is doing better in Germany? It's, it's also cultural from the beginning. Uh, Rotary clubs in the United States are much better in service also in contributing to the Rotary Foundation. Uh, mm -hmm. So this is a very strong uh, argument uh, uh, for service here in the United States. That's different in Germany. And not, I'm also can speak for Switzerland and Austria, this mm -hmm. Central European sure. countries, German speaking. It's a, uh, joining a Rotary Club is about relations, not mm -hmm. business relations. That's, that's yeah. I think that's, that's definitely gone. That's, in, that's everything is, nobody is. Uh, needs a, a Rotary Club for business. That's, we have other channels today. Yeah. But it's for meeting other friends, meeting other people, different perspective, becoming another view, and become friends of this group. Yeah. So we are really built on friendship in, in Europe and on integrity. So the clubs are looking for integrity people. Yeah. Is this the right? Integrity? Yes, but they are, they are looking yes. for, 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 for ethics, for moral, if they, yeah. if they ask people to join the Rotary Club. And, uh, and from this, so this is a strong basis for a Rotary Club. And from this, uh, they develop uh, the power to do projects. So that's a, it's a bit different. Of course, also, the, the result should be not just friendship and enjoying themselves. The result should be strong projects, and, and we do this. Yeah, interesting. Well, as you think about uh, your 27 years in Rotary, what is the most important lesson that you have learned from Rotary? The most important thing is be always open, learn. And I spoke about all these differences in Rotary. Embrace the differences. 
that's something that's something I, I, I learned in Rotary. Uh, just a short story to that. I remember quite well. We had sometimes we are scared, not but but seeing seeing women with 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 the scarves and 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 so it's because it's not part of our culture right now. But if I remember being being in in in, in the island of Borneo together with with with, with women from from uh, that area and 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 most of them had scarves and so on. Mm -hmm. Red rectors. And, they, and then you learn, hey, they are like the young girls here. They come yeah. and hug you, and then we had great conversation. Yeah. And you know, hey, we are not, not, not being scared, but learn, and then you learn, hey, it's, it's, we are all humans, whatever, wherever we are in this world. And this was yeah. one of the major lessons I got through Rotary. This is a, a profound lesson for the world right now, because uh, we see it starkly in the United States, but I think it is an international phenomenon that people seem to be more divided, whether that's Facebook's fault or just what, I don't know, but we, we have become a little bit more divided. Um, is Rotary a solution to that, potentially? It could be, it should be, and whenever we are working on that, then it will be. <laughs> It's, it's up to us to open our mouth sometimes. Uh, if yeah. uh, you know what people are sometimes, what are also to sometimes in, 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 in rounds, not always in a Rotary Club, but it can also happen in a Rotary Club. And so don't, don't, don't be silent. Say yeah. something. Yeah. Say something. And, 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 you know, our core values, that's, it's diversity. And yeah. It's integrity. And it's service. And, and someone is speaking against this and saying, hey, you're part of our group, and this is this is so important. Thinking about diversity. Yes, and thinking and about our diversity uh, 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 equal and, uh, uh, and uh, inclusive uh, statement. So we are really looking for that, and and we, we we do what we what we vote for, what we think. I think this is important. Yeah. Let's do the right thing. Simply. Yeah. It is quite an accomplishment. Uh, a million two members in Rotary around the world, and you were chosen to be president. Uh, that's a lot of pressure. As you look back over your Rotary career, what are you most proud of? Becoming a Rotarian, and I'm proud of uh, Having, having or having had the opportunity to move the organization forward, with what, what was what I have done. I was for for six years uh, chairman of uh, the German Youth Exchange, Malta district. Mm -hmm. So we sent out 600 long-term exchange students every year and 600 every year every year <laughs> and 600 short-term exchange. Students. We sent out 1,400 and received 1,400. And this is, so, this is, and this, and, and, and 2,000 every year. And, and I was proud about, really proud about all the Rotarians are doing this work, the hard work, working for the success, working for the future of these children. And wherever we go and seeing projects, service projects, yeah. what we are able to achieve, I'm proud of the fellow Rotarians who are working so hard to make a world a better place. Yeah, that's fantastic. You also did something uh, I thought you might have mentioned. Uh, you chaired the hosting committee for the international convention in Hamburg last year. Uh, it was an amazing event. I had the honor of attending. Uh, you were introduced as the new uh, president-elect, even at the event you were sort of hosting, uh, or were in fact hosting. Um, what was it like to plan a party for 40,000 people? Sometimes I thought then it was a crazy idea. I had the idea when I was sitting on the programs committee and we were asked to look for future uh, venues for a, a Rotary International Convention. And we should choose 14 cities and Hamburg was not on this list. And I simply asked, can I add Hamburg to that list? And I do it by handwriting on that list. And, and, and believe me, uh, uh, if it really comes to a few one as few weeks uh, before the convention, I sometimes woke up in the in the night saying, "What the hell have you done?" <laughs> 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 What's going? And that happens to all 
uh, active members of our host organization com committee. If I uh, were recruiting them and asking, hey, could you, would you like to help me? Nobody had a clue <laughs> about the work, uh, what they uh, 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 were facing. I'm sure not. Yeah. Uh, it was amazing. It was, a, I mean, you know, we, any event with 40,000 people is difficult, but this was a, you know, four or five day event. Uh, this is a big deal. Yeah. People from all around the world. It was, and it was yeah. good. And uh, Hamburg, uh, the city of Hamburg really supported us. The mayor, all the, all the different authorities in Hamburg, they were all on our yeah. side and, and make, it, make it possible, that made it possible. It's, and uh, at the end, right after it was done, uh, everybody was really happy that it works so good. And yeah. we had good weather in Hamburg. Yes, it what was is fabulous it, you know, weather. Hamburg is a little bit like Chicago. Everything is possible, but we had great <laughs> weather. And that, that helps. If, it was great yeah. weather. It was great weather. Congratulations. Thank Your you weather much. committee did a great <laughs> job. <laughs> so, uh, Holger, I always ask my guests about their superpower. I'm, I'm looking for the thing that is your personal strength that allows you to be successful. And you have been successful in rotary, in business, it seems in every aspect of your life. What is your superpower? Oh, that's a great question. That's difficult to answer. All over all, I really love people. I really love people. I really love to be together with people. And I'm, I think I learned over the years to listen, simply to listen and then thinking. Those, that is powerful, that combination of loving people yeah. and listening. That is a genuine superpower. Uh, so thank you for sharing that, I appreciate it. Well, Holger, we really appreciate you taking time for this. I know your, your schedule is just flat out busy, that the team here has you planned out every minute of the day. The work, the work is done for today, so oh, this good. is just so, <laughs> it's a relaxing time right now, so I oh, really good. appreciate that. Well, thank you very much for making a few extra minutes today for us. Before you go, would you take just a minute and tell people how they can learn more about Rotary? Wherever I go. So that's what we are asking our fellow Rotarians, the directors, the president, the district governors are always asking people to, to tell their stories about Rotary and to bring members in. But it's also up to us. You know, being the president-elect of Rotary National is just one part. But I'm an ordinary Rotarian with all the duties of a Rotarian. Whenever I can have the opportunity to talk about Rotary, uh, I invited people uh, to our Rotary Club. So people. people should just ask a Rotarian. If they want to learn more, ask a Rotarian. Ask something. It's That's easy. great. It's easy. <laughs> well, Holger, again, thank you very much oh, for you. being here today. Oh, really appreciate the opportunity. it. It was, it was great to much. meet you, and uh, you. we wish you every success in the great work you're doing in leading Rotary. Thank you. If right after my year people still uh, are happy about my work, <laughs> Then I'm really, then I'm happy after this. Thing. I'm not worried. <laughs> Thank you very now, much. Let's do some good. At Caring Crowd, we believe everyone has the power to make a difference. Through our crowdfunding platform for community health, we empower passionate people to drive real change. Whether you work for a nonprofit organization, volunteer, or want to get involved for the first time, you can post a campaign on Caring Crowd. Join us, because caring is where change begins. Thanks for tuning in to the Your Mark on the World Show, the Social Impact Podcast. Please subscribe via YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, or Spotify. Spotify.